Hello, my name is Alicia Gridley and I'm from City Arts. City Arts is a community arts education center located in downtown Wichita. To celebrate Kansas Day, I'm going to show you how to go through a step-by-step -step drawing to create a bison. The bison is the state animal for Kansas. You're going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. And pause the video after each step so you can create your drawing and then continue with me. Let's get started. For this drawing, I'm going to be using a permanent marker, but you can use a pencil and erase away the lines if you like. I like to use this permanent marker because then you guys can see my lines more clearly. For our bison, we're going to have our paper in landscape mode. So that means we have it going long ways from left to right. And I want you to start by putting two small circles on the bottom left hand corner because we're going to create the face of our bison and then the body it takes up more of the picture. So I'm going to create two oval shapes for the eyes and however you create them is good with me. And we're going to create a little glassy look in the eyes, a little reflection. So draw two little circles opposite of each other inside of the eyeballs. And then we're going to fill in all of the other color, all of the other parts with color. So keeping those little reflective marks there. I almost filled mine in too much, but that way it gives it a little bit of a lifelike look. Then we're going to draw a big loop from, I would like to say, a little bit above the eye over here. And we're going to come down and around and about halfway up. Then we're going to create an ear. So I didn't come up as high as I did on this side because over here I'm going to create a U shape for the ear. And on the other side, I'm going to create a U, but to make it look 3D, I'm going to put it, I'm going to connect it to this line here. So I'm going to do the same kind of U shape, but I'm going to connect it there and not come all the way through. Now it's time to make the furry part of his head. And I'm going to do that by creating these kind of soft U shapes over and over across the top of his head here. And then let's create it up and out, kind of like a poofy cloud, because this is, bison are really fuzzy on top. So create those nice little U's over and over until you've got his hair. And let's draw a horn coming out the side of his hair and his ear here. So that's like a point, again with the U shapes coming to a point. Over here on the other side, we're gonna put the horn behind the ear and the hair. So again, that kind of pointy U shape and have it come down. I'm gonna have that ear connect there. Now let's draw the rest of his back. We're going to come up and around and down around his body, his little chest here. And come up there. If you were doing this with a pencil, you'll go back, you can go back in with a black marker and trace this and then just erase away your pencil marks. Let's also finish his face here. Let's do a U shape across the bottom there. And how about two nostrils? 
So those are kind of like flattened circles there. Now for his legs, let's start, let's start down here, kind of right below his face. We're gonna draw two lines. And then let's connect those two lines and put a little line across at the bottom and divide it in half for a hoof. So let's repeat that on the other side over here. So we're going to do his other front leg. Let's do two lines, connect those two lines, put a line across the bottom there and then cut that in half for a little hoof. And then let's finish his back over here. I'm gonna come up here and come down and out. And I'm coming down to kind of be at the same, same line as these guys here. So he looks like he's really standing nice and strong. And let's connect his leg down here. And so I've left that open like that to create a little line connecting there. Do another line across. And you got it. Let's put a little hoof mark there. And let's do a line from kind of the middle of his leg here across, giving him a little belly. And let's do one more leg in the back. So just two little lines, connect, a line across, and a hoof. And if we make that one smaller than the others, then it looks like he's, he's three-dimensional. What's the last thing our bison needs? A tail. So I'm gonna put a tail off of his back leg up here, and that's gonna be kind of similar to our horn line that we made there. I'm gonna do a swoop up, do another swoop to connect the tail, and let's just do a fuzzy, a fuzzy top. Okay. And bison are brown. And so you can use your colored pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have to color him in all different kinds of brown. I would use several different shades of brown if I had them. I've got this gold Sharpie here and I like to do that to give it a little a little dimension. But you can spend the rest of the time coloring in your bison and don't forget his horns. His horns can be maybe a more yellow or an orange or you can make this bison the absolute any color you want because it's your draw drawing. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys had fun drawing your bison with me and celebrating our wonderful state of Kansas. I hope to see you guys next time for another how-to drawing with me and City Arts. Thank you.